Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization V as the Aztecs. In the previous episode we captured Hippo Regis, another Carthaginian city, so that means we have two more cities we want to get from this war. Uh, Saguntum will be the target for this episode and also we'll start moving our ships towards what used to be Indian cities or actually the whole India uh, because um, with a strength like around 10, in some cases not even 10, we might be able to liberate India during this war. Uh, we have how many? We have four galleasses here. I think I'll send all of them with uh, the Great Admiral. But before the actual, let me do some upgrades. Let's upgrade these two galleasses. They can stay here, in case something crazy happens, like Polynesia declaring war, we could use them uh, to help us defend, but we are able to defend the city uh, with just land units, if I remember correctly, so... And we will keep the caravel here, so we should be fine. I'll just have to be careful how I move the ships. Wait, wait. All oh, fine. Oh, what else? I think I'm ready to end the turn. Just do one thing. I checked the city off camera and we got quite a few buildings. The city is on a tile where I want it. So this is an example of a city that for me is not worth raising and resettling. We even should have the right religion, I think. So yeah, here's no reason to resettle the city. I'll actually annex it. So that we can manually assign the workers. Maybe I should have done this off camera, but well, it shouldn't take that long. So we want all the production all the crazy food and production and how many people do we have two four five people uh and how does it look like with growth uh, i'm not sure if we were working this style but it doesn't matter this city will be raised in the end so if it loses tile it worked it doesn't really matter we can work it we can work this and how does it look like with growth? Still horrible. So I still want to work the forge. If I could do that. Well, obviously I can't do it for some reason. Probably we are still in resistance. That might be the reason. And we'll just lock some more food, I guess. Can we get food and something? No, not really. I'll probably reassign it later. For now, it will have to do still way too slow growth. But we'll see what we can do about it later. And we can already queue up a courthouse. And we can definitely cancel the uh, culture. Okay, so that's that. And we don't have uh, Mandir or Monastery, so in five turns we want to buy that. That will delay the next uh, great profit. I really don't want to get another one. Washington is plotting against me. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if everyone was plotting against me at this point. And we got a great writer. Um, hmm. Doesn't look too bad. Only two ships in the range. Okay move you definitely need some healing money do we have 1700 you know what this may seem like a waste of gold but i'll buy another tile i just want to make sure that no matter where we move in this area we'll be inside of our territory getting those the extra healing uh when we rest And let's try to do something about 
another Corvette, I mean Caravel. Good. Oh, hello. Forget about this Caravel. Mm. Come on, shoot. And can we kill it? Nope, but it can't run anywhere. So we should be fine. Wait. And this Tercio will replace the Spearman. No, 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 no. Go back. There we go. Our Galadasses will stay together just in case we run into some um, random Carthaginian caravels. Now, the writer. I don't know, a thousand culture isn't bad. You hear something weird right now. It's my cat. We'll be sneezing probably. Okay, where are we? Uh, nine and a half thousand culture. That would be how much? Like fifteen turns worth of culture. What do we get next? Workers. Uh, that's not worth it. It's not like a crucial social policy. And ah, this can wait. It's better to get the uh, great work. Come on, there. One ought not to be unkind. Definitely need some healing. Same here. You done with the lumber mill? Yep. Oh. I'll leave all the skirmishes around here. Careful with that caravel, there might be some ships hiding under the fog of war. Um Guardian Doctrine looks good. And you will move back. Fortify, fortify. Where do we want our cannons? One, two, three, and we can cover them from the side with skirmishers. Uh, from the other side with the, these Tercios. We don't have to move any more units to this area, just our cannons, good. And three of our cities are happy because we got gold, good. Okay, ship sounds good. But the village is kind of bad. I'm not working the horse, that might be a bad... Uh, bad micromanagement. I'm gonna think about working the sheep instead of the university. Yeah, we'll be fine. Okay. Paris is finally done with the courthouse. Let's queue up some of the basics here. And why are we working in the monastery? We want to grow and get a decent production. Uh, this style should be decent when it's fixed. That's probably the best we can do right now. Makes a bit more sense. 
least until we build a quarry. But uh, those buildings, what do we want? I think I'll start with floating gardens and get, then get back to Paris. Uh, you're done with garden. Let's get, I think, a lighthouse or artist guild. Um... We definitely don't have to work the market. Let's start it there. Instead, I'd rather work the university. Yeah, let's get the lighthouse. Probably barracks before library. Wait, wait, wait. How about you? Pledge and run away. And the knight is going after the iron. Good. Fortify. And go. Oh, look at that. No, I don't want the, the peace treaty. But look at the... Uh, how opportunistic the AIs are. Syria is now far behind. Let's see. Where is he? Here. 29 tax compared to... 33 Carthaginian, that is actually not that bad, but still, he is quite small, can't expand anywhere, and the moment he senses weakness, he immediately attacked. I don't mind, actually, if he can keep Carthage busy, I'm glad, so yeah, that's fine, I'll take it. What can we do here? Uh, let's move... Out. We move back all the way. Can yeah, okay. Let's do that. Thanks to the road. Or it's probably close enough. I will try to lure some ship to me. I don't want them to get too close. Uh, you know, just try to explore it this way. And go back. And... Uh, wait. I think it's time to attack. One cannon is already in position for the next turn. Wait. Let's move the skirmisher and replace him. Now this will be interesting. Um, I really want to get rid of the crossbowman. That's one, two, and kill. Perfect. I think the cannon will have to run away. Otherwise we might be able to kill it next turn. Uh, the question is, can we kill at least some, at least one Drummond? Not some, one Drummond will be enough. 
You have accuracy. Okay, let's start there. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to pillage too many tiles around Carthage. I mean, I want to take the city, so if I could uh, capture it without destroying all the tiles around it, uh, that would be the best option. But what we could do is try to move the explorer this area somehow. Get enough damage here. Okay. Wait. No, we don't have enough damage. Damn it. So in that case, it's probably better to just keep healing. Yeah. How many mines do we have around here? Just one? Three? Oh, let's grab forage. Go. Probably keep an eye on what's going on here. It's more dangerous in this area. Holy crap! Where did these ships come from? One turn it looked like Carthage ran out of ships, and two turns later, I don't know what to do. Almost. Um, probably start by running away. It's good that we lured at least three ships away. And then head to retreat. That's good as well. I'll stay Woodsman. I kinda like the promotion. I think this is actually safe. There's one. Can get attacked by one. Actually, by, by three caravels. Um, maybe it's not that safe. For some reason, I thought these two caravels were too far. No, it's fine. One, two. These two can attack, but this one, one, two, three. Uh, would have to go around, it can't go directly down because it's in the zone of control of our city, so we can survive two attacks and there would have to be a ship either here or here. I think the caravel will be fine. Um... Okay. And we can even do some damage to this one. Perfect. Kill. Yeah, those are much better yields. I'll just move one tile in this direction. Oh, we are out of range of the crossbowmen. And we can get everything in position. Okay, that's good. Wait, wait, wait.
somehow kill that composite bow. Yeah, never mind. attack with the skirmisher as well but i'd rather have defensive line don't want to give Carthage any chance to sneak like a knight on this style and attack the cannon it's not worth it wait 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 everyone waits now we can end the turn and i definitely don't want to do this nope I should just go north and explore here. It's more important to check the Japanese territory, but it looks like the continent ends here, so may as well quickly check if there is something interesting. There can always be like a Great Barrier Reef or something like that. Does it look like it resistance? Two more turns, and how much do we need? 11 and a half for the great profit. Okay, we should be able to buy uh, those religious buildings before we get another profit. Can we kill this caravel somehow? Nope. But we can definitely kill this crossbowman. Yeah, and that was stupid. Why did I do that? Oh, because I was trying to, to shoot my own caravel. Please tell me that I can get a kill. Oof, good. And... Let's just keep exploring. It's quite dangerous, but I think it'll be fine. Interesting here. Let's move north to Japan. Another misclick? Focus. Uh, what I did with that crossbowman is, uh, wasn't actually a misclick. I, for some reason, just tried to attack my own ship. Oh, hello. That is tempting. Problem is, I noticed that Long Swordsman too late. Damn it, that could have been a kill. Could risk it. Let's try to lure the caravel to the galleons. Hopefully there are no more caravels here. Ah, uh, quite safe. We have reinforcements on the way. Oh, 
Oh, this is unexpected. This is like a voluntary vassalization, basically, because there's no way I would let him go without paying for this. Um, no, I'm not giving you iron, but I'd accept embassy. Oh. Um. Oh, hello. What the hell? Much money do we have? Three and a half thousand. And a Syrian caravel. Actually, dead Assyrian caravel. It's also almost a dead heavy skirmisher. Holy crap, how did that happen? Um, run. Trying to figure out if I can somehow kill the caravel, but I don't think so. Oh, actually, it was enough. Good. Okay, now with the war with Assyria, it's probably a good idea to hide some of our workers. Should be still safe. Oh, this is a tile that, that needs fixing, and we finally have the road. Let's do something about the bison. And another misclick. What the hell is going on? I'm trying to play a bit faster and I'm just making stupid mistakes. How much damage can we do to this if they attack with melee units? Not enough. But next turn we'll take it. And what happened? Unidentified spine. Never mind. But. Only 380 gold, it's not too bad. Just work the forge. All the tiles are it's too expensive. Let's play one more turn, take that Carthaginian city and then off camera. I'll have to think about um, Assyria. Don't see any units except this one war elephant. Can probably stop with the Tercio. But if uh, Assyria decides to attack us instead of Carthage, we might be in trouble. I'll have to find a few units. That can move south. Maybe we can even 
Question is, do we have time to just take Carthage and then send our cannons? You don't have enough money to buy units, to buy a new army basically to attack Asur. Uh, yeah, I'll have to think about this off camera. I'll just quickly take Saguntum. Fortify, fortify. See, now I can send a few crossbowmen just to protect my southern border. It seems that Heritage is slowly running out of ships. What's going on here? I think I'll actually take this. Isis. We got I'll just take the research agreement, I'll check trades off camera. Okay, perfect. No ships this turn. There was a caravan there. Be able to plunder the caravan. Like the war elephant. How much damage would it be? It's pretty decent. I might be able to completely block him. Or can we go? Or that should be enough. He'll most likely pillage the Amber but it's not the end of the world. We just need to kill him. And moving. Okay, Sagundum is ours. Um, I'll first puppet it. Camera, I'll check if I want to keep it where it is or if I want to resettle it. And. Well, we probably won't be able to spend enough aid. We will still get another great profit. And burn 1600. What about Paris? Does even or does Paris have our religion even? Yeah. One dear. Like buy. Oh monastery is here as well. We have religious buildings in Chalco too. Never mind. I could buy some inquisitors maybe. How does it look like with uh, religious divisions? Only three, that's nothing. Maybe I'll just take another great profit. They're nowhere near industrial era. But at some point we will get another great profit anyway. Just pop him, let's say here. Another decent tile, or maybe even here. Yeah, but I'll think uh, about this a bit more off camera, or maybe someone someone can see something that I don't see. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. What the hell is Cartagena and I doing here? Speaking about things I don't see. Can I kill him?
Yeah. Barely, but I can't. Damn, that sucks. Actually, maybe I can. Ah. Die. I just hope that the explorer survives the, the attack from the longsword man, but he should. Oh well, now it's definitely all for this episode. So, as usual, I hope that you liked it. I hope that you're gonna join me for the next one again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.